come back with video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ukraine and Russia, what you need to know right now. Later, Russia said its troops had abandoned and key position in a cup with eastern Ukraine, a setting defeat that prompted one of President Vladimir Putin's most hawkish allies to call for Russia to consider resorting to low grade nuclear weapons. Lehman, Russia said its troops had withdrawn from Lehman to avoid being surrounded by Ukraine's army. Ramzan Kadyrov, head of Russia's region of Chechnya, said Moscow should consider using a low yield nuclear weapon in Ukraine after a major new defeat on the battlefield, the loss of Lehman annexation. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Friday proclaimed the annexation for four stations in Ukraine, while Kiev said it would continue its fight to retake occupied land before sending the comments to annex the four regions and ex denounced as illegal by Ukraine, the United States, the European Union, and the head of the United Nations. Putin delivered a uh, 37 minutes anti Western death strike. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said on Friday the country was formally applying for fast track membership of the NATO military alliance and that Kiev was ready for talks with Moscow but not while Putin was president. The United States responded and on Friday to the annexation by, by imposing more sanctions on, on Russia targeting hundreds of people and companies, including those in Russia's military industrial complex and lawmakers. Zaporizhia, a Russian patrol, has detained the director general of Ukraine's Russia and a cop with Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The state's own company in charge of the plant said, and the United Nations nuclear watchdog said, Russia has confirmed the move. Casualties, Ukraine SPBU, Security self Service said at least 20 civilians were killed in the Russia shelling of the civilian convoy in late September in an Esther's gray zone between Russian control and Ukrainian controlled territory. At least 30 civilians were killed and almost 100 wounded in what Kiev said was a cynical Russian missile strike on Friday on a convoy of civilian cars of southern Ukraine. Gas flows. Uh, Italy's Eddie said it would not receive any of the gas it had requested from Russia. Gas from MX, MCX GAZP for delivery on Saturday. But the first said they were working to fix this. Greece and Bulgaria start commercial operation of long delayed gas pipeline, which will help the Greece Southeast Europe's, Europe's dependence on Russia gas and boost energy security. Russia's gas form cut natural gas supplies in Moldova on Saturday by around 30%, according to the director of gas firm Moldova Gas Firm Siban. Diplomacy, Russia failed to win enough votes for re-election to the United Nations Aviation Agency Governing Council in a boost for Western powers that want to hold Moscow accountable following its invasion of Ukraine. Russian soldiers call Putin a fool on intercepted calls the stupidest decision our government ever made. The New York Times has released a detailed report on the intercept calls made by Russian soldiers in Ukraine, talking about widespread atrocities the face they face and how they are replaced over President Vladimir Putin's decision to invade. According to the RIT, the intercepted call made in March by dozens of Russian troops stationed in and around the town of Bukka 
and uh, and on the outskirts of Kiev are between the troops and their loved ones back home. Ukrainian love of enforcement against this initially intercept the call before the newspaper coach called of them. I think that's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.